Your sales page can make or break the launch of your product, service, or program. And in fact, 75% of people said that they judged the credibility of a product or a brand based on its design. So today I'm going to walk you through the finishing touches to a sales page created just in Canva's website builder and using a free sales page template that I've made available for you to download. Hi folks, if we haven't met before, I'm Wayne. I am a creative director and a brand designer, and I help coaches and creators to up-level their visuals and design. Today, we're gonna to be working on a sales page built entirely in Canva's website builder and using a sales page template that I have made available for you to download for free. You can either click the link in the description below this video or go to the URL that's on the screen at the moment, and you can download your free Canva sales page template. It also comes with a free video series that talks you through how to make the most of the template, how to build a sales page, and tips and tricks for making it look good and convert well. It also comes with a PDF guide that will walk you through the whole process with checklists to keep you on track. Obviously, to install your free Canva template, you're going to need a Canva account. Now, you can work on a free account. It works perfectly well just using that. Or you can sign up for a Canva Pro account, which gives you access to a far wider range of graphics, um, royalty-free images, videos, and all sorts of other tools as part of Canva. Crucially, it also gives you access to being able to build brand kits within your Canva account, which makes it really easy to design, customize, and make consistent, beautiful sales pages and websites. If you want to sign up for a Canva account, if you don't have one yet, just head to the description below this video and you can sign up there for a free 30-day trial of Canva Pro if you want to give that a go. So once you've clicked the link in your email or in the PDF, it will ask you to install the template into your Canva account. Once you click that button that says use template, we're ready to go. Now today, we're going to be working on a sales page that I've created for a fictional online course or program called On The Cards, how to use the ancient art of tarot for personal transformation. Now, despite popular opinion, I do not go by Madame Wayne on the weekends, and I don't read tarot cards, so this is completely fictional and inspired by an image that I found in Canva's free image library. So I've drawn my colors and fonts and other images and icons from that image and used that as inspiration. So speaking of design assets, one of the most important things when creating a sales page is the preparation up front. And what I mean by that is to get all of your creative assets, your uh, images, your fonts, your color references, um, any logos or icons that you want to use, and get those already upfront easily accessible so that you can build a sales page quickly and easily. Now, there are three ways that are really easy to make those accessible. The first is, as I mentioned, if you're on a Canva Pro account, you can create a brand kit and you can upload all of those assets into the brand kit, ready for you to just apply to a template at the click of a button. The other option, which I'm gonna talk you through today because we're working in a free Canva account, is to create a brand board of your own. So a kind of brand summary where you can put all of those assets and that means you can just copy and paste them as you're working and they're really easy and you don't have to search the libraries for them. The third way, of course, is just to have those assets to hand in a document or a folder or file so that you can grab them easily and get those references, copy and paste things, and that way you can work quickly and efficiently when building a sales page. Let me show you what my brand board looks like for this program. So I've created this at a glance brand summary and you can see I've got the color references on the left hand side the type styles I'm going to be using, even a button style, which will make it easier to add calls to action throughout my sales page. This is the image I used for inspiration where I've pulled some of these ideas from. And these are icons or illustrations that I've pulled from Canva's free graphics library. And I've just copied and pasted them onto this brand board so that they're ready for me to use and I don't have to search for them again. I've also included a second page where I put a couple of quotes that I think I'm going to use in the sales page, um, a graphic or identity that I've created for this fictional program, and then also three testimonials that I've used here and I'm going to copy and paste them into the sales page itself. So now that we've got our assets together and we're ready, let's hop over and I'll show you what I've designed already using just Canvas free website builder and my sales page template. 
So this is what the sales page currently looks like. And I've applied the colors that I chose. I've applied some of the graphics and some images that I found in Canva's free library. And there are a couple of sections which still need some work, and I'm going to do those with you today. We're not going to rewrite all of the copy today, but I will be doing a future video on best practices for copywriting for sales pages. So please subscribe to the channel and our mailing list and keep an eye out for that. So right at the top, we have this section, which is essentially a hero section to attract people's attention. And this is where you'd have a compelling headline, usually referencing some benefit that people want. And often you have a subtitle um, or a paragraph here, which gives people a little more information about the program. I've included a graphic as signposting and the image that I've used as inspiration for this brand. So scrolling down, you'll see there are a number of sections I've put together. And then there is this section, which essentially has statements of success that help people visualize what it would be like to have success with your program. It helps it to really bring it to life for people. And so this is a kind of important one and we're gonna design that together. Moving down, I've got an introduction to the program. I've got a scarcity message, then also a fast acting bonus section, which we're gonna design, a video section we're gonna look at together. Then there's an introduction to the person who's hosting this, some social proof, which is very important for a sales page an investment or buy now page, some FAQs, a quote which we're gonna to put together as well, and then a final statement calling people to take action. Now you'll also notice that throughout this page, I have calls to action peppered through many of the sections. And basically that's so that people at any point in their journey along this page can decide that they're ready to buy. And if they click one of those buttons, they'll be taken to the investment section. The investment section will then link them to where they can actually pay. And we'll talk about that a little later. So let's go back to our editing view. And I'm gonna zoom out so that we can actually see this whole section. So this is what the section currently looks like. And you can see there's text, there's boxes, there's also image frames. And over those, I've put a little circular border just to add a bit of interest. So the first thing I always do is to change the typeface or font. So I'm gonna choose the typeface from the list that I have made as the standard for the sales page. And we are just going to enlarge that so that it makes more impact. Then what I'm gonna do is just change these fonts so that they also reflect the rest of the sales page and so that there is some consistency which immediately makes the message stronger for people. Now each of these has an image placeholder. And so you can just click and drag an image from Canva's image library into there. The other option you have is to click on that and just fill it with a color, and then you could overlay an icon of some sort. But we're gonna go with using images today so I can show you how it ties in with the rest of this page. The first thing I'm gonna do though is just recolor the backgrounds of these boxes so that there's something a little more subtle but in tune with the rest of the branding. Now we're gonna have a look at photographs. And if I go to my recently used, you'll see that I've been searching for photographs for this project. Now, truth be told, the other reason that these are all here is because I have already done this tutorial, but I forgot to hit record. So if you've ever done that, feel free to leave a message in the comments so I don't feel like such an idiot. Um, but getting back to this, I am just gonna pick images that have similar color tones and references to the ones that I've been using throughout the rest of the page and click and drag them until they appear in that little image box. Then I let go and they will fill that. So I'm just gonna click and drag a few of these so that you can see how I fill these with images that reflect the rest of the brand colors or the design colors in the rest of the document. Okay, so there you can see immediately, it starts to tie in with the rest of the page and you're picking up on the same colors and the same typefaces or fonts that we've used throughout the rest of it. Scrolling down, as I said, this page just introduces the program to people. And here you would put ideally a grab of your program or an image of your product, whatever it is that you're actually promoting on the sales page to help not just introduce it to people, but so that it feels real to them. And that really helps with conversion rates where people can see that there is something they're actually getting. Next, I've got a scarcity notice here, which is just something that helps promote uh, people taking action quickly. It's not designed to manipulate or to trick people into anything, but it does encourage people to take action sooner rather than later. Another thing that encourages people to take action is to have some kind of bonus or sometimes multiple bonuses. So I've put a section in for you to use that is a fast acting bonus section. 
So I think what I'm going to do with this is turn it into a section that promotes a, uh, a free meditation that people are going to get when they sign up for this program. So I don't think I want a laptop for this because it's a meditation. I think a, a phone would look better. So what I'm going to do is just add a blank page underneath it. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to go to the design panel and layouts. And you can see I have a range of layouts that Canva have provided that I can add to the template I've already created. I'm going to scroll along the top here where they've added some filter options and choose mock up. And there's one with a phone on it. So I'm just going to click that and it will paste it into this document ready for me to use. Now I'll delete this page and then I will just do the same text formatting as I would on all the other pages here. So now that the font is um, amended here, what I'm going to do is just add in the title um, and we can call this um, Freedom and Focus. And that will be the name of the meditation. I'm going to center that text and then I think underneath I want something that, um, that explains what it is. So I'm going to go to the text box, add a little bit of body text um, and I'm going to call this a Singing Bowl Meditation. I'm going to take that down in size, but make it the right font that we've been using. And I'm going to space it a little further down. And then what I'll do is I'll actually add a subheading that says free meditation. I'm going to change that to our font. And I'm also going to change the color to this dusty pink color that we've used. I'm going to take that down in size and I'm going to move it to above the text. So there we have our text, which explains what they're getting. And now I just want to drop an image into this image holder so that it can look like it's a singing bowl meditation in there. So if we go back to our photos, I have an image here that I found that I like, so I'm gonna click and drag that into there and it fits into the phone frame automatically, which is just from one of Canva's templates. I'm gonna go back to my brand summary and I'm gonna copy and paste one of these icons or images that I've been using. If I zoom in a little, you can see it a bit clearer. I'm going to paste it onto this section. I'm going to make it a light color and put it over that meditation. And then I'm also going to add a section here which says free for the first 10 who enroll. I'm going to take that to the Roxborough font we've been using and take it all the way down font size and move it to the bottom of that image. And there we have it, a section promoting our free meditation, which is our fast acting bonus. And so people can see and feel again like they're actually getting something. Now the next section you'll see has a video holder and I've put some text over the video. Now one of the great things in Canva, which I'll show you in the preview, is that the video actually plays and allows elements to be in front of it. So you can see there it's a great effect to have text in front of it or something like that. And what we're going to do is just replace this video um, with a video that I uploaded before that fits with this brand. So if I click and drag that into the, the placeholder, it simply replaces it immediately. Now I'd like to make this a bit wider and the great thing in Canva is that you can have any shape or size placeholder for images or videos. So just by stretching the placeholder, the video fills it automatically. I've got text on here and I'm going to change that to some kind of inspirational statement. So we're going to say your destiny is in your own hands. And I think what I'm going to do is make that into the title font and make it a little bigger. And then to make it stand out a little bit more, I'm going to go to effects and I'm just going to choose lift, which adds a very subtle shadow to it. I think what I'd also like to do is to add a bit of interest over the video so that it just plays in the background. So I'm going to go back to my summary board and I'm going to copy and paste one of these from there, one of the icons into this document again, move it over the video, make it a little larger, and I'm going to make it white so that it's subtle but stands out. I'm also going to go to the elements and just use a simple square or rectangle shape and I'm going to add a frame that overlays the video a little. So I don't want that to have a fill so I'm going to remove that but I am going to have a 
very subtle line that is colored in the white as well. So there you see now the video section immediately ties in with the rest of the branding and it looks really slick. And as I mentioned before, if we have a look in our preview now, you will see that the video plays with those elements in front of it, which is a really great effect for a sales page. Next, I've got a section where the guide or the person who is taking the course would introduce themselves. And then really importantly, I have a social proof section. Now you can never have too much social proof on a sales page. People really rely on it for um, advice and for recommendations. If you don't have images of people to add in with your social proof, what you can do is just use a symbol like this, a little a quotation mark, which you can search for in Canva's free graphics library, and just have that above each of the testimonials if you don't have images for the people that have uh, given you the testimonials. And next we have the investment page. Now, this is obviously really important because this is where you make it easy for people to buy. And one of the ways you do that is by making it clear to them which of the things is best for them. So if you're providing different options, you may have a pay in full option and then a three month payment and then a 12 month payment option. And that's why I've included three boxes here so that you can use those if you want to or just delete them if you only have one simple option. I would suggest that you never add more than three because it does tend to make people question too much and that can actually have an impact on conversions. Now, what, what I would suggest you do with any investment page is to actually reiterate and remind them what they're getting as part of this package. So everything you've listed in the sales page before, list in this one section so that they don't have to scroll up to try and find information that they've passed or that they forgot. They have everything summarized here, which makes it easy for them to just decide which one is right for them and to click that join now or buy now button. Now in Canva, they don't have a checkout function or an e-commerce function. So your buy now buttons would have to go to a third party checkout. And that may sound like a bit of a fuss, but it's actually good because it means that you can choose which your preferred checkout option is. So that could be Stripe or PayPal, that could be ConvertKit or Flowdesk or Kajabi or Samcart. There are all number of things that you could use for your third party checkout. And you would just click from this button and they would go there to pay. Now the way you would do that is to click on the text and the button here and make sure that they are grouped. And then on the top right, if you click on the link button, you can copy and paste the link to your checkout. And that way people just click this one button and head straight to your checkout to pay. And it's a very smooth process for people. The next section is your FAQs, which is a kind of underused section in sales pages. It's a place where you can add a bit of personality, you can have a bit of fun with people, but it's also a place where you can make sure that you address any regular objections that come up as part of your sales process. So it stops people having to email you all the time, but it also removes some of those objections from people's minds immediately here on the sales page while you've got their attention. So the next section has a, um, a blank section which allows you to put a statement or quote. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that brand summary again and I'm going to use the quote that I have here from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I'm going to go back in here, I'm going to add a heading, paste it in and make sure that it is formatted correctly. And then once the fonts are formatted correctly, I think I'd like to put an image in the background here to add some interest. So I'm going to go back into the photo section uh, and I'm going to find something that's a bit of a neutral background. Um, something like that, even though it's the wrong format, that will actually work well. Click and drag it and let go. And now we have an image we can reposition, but that doesn't overpower the font or the color. And I can just adjust the spacing so that it looks better for that. Then our next section is a final statement, which is kind of a last call to action from you. And this is something I always talk about as being a, a heartfelt call to action. It's where you can really make that last attempt to connect with people and get them to understand why you're the best person for them to be working with or buying from. So don't miss the opportunity to really tell people why they should work with you and how you know that you understand their issues. The last section on here is a footer, which I have included as an option on the template. But just a word of caution, generally good practice on a sales page is not to have a header and footer that has any links in them. What you don't want is for people to be directed off your page to something else that distracts them or that they may spend time reading and then not come back to the page. So ideally, the only links on your page should be within the page 
to your Buy Now section, and then from there to checkout. Any other links should be disabled or removed from your page. So now that we've formatted those, let's go in to have a preview again and we'll see what it looks like and make sure it looks good on mobile as well. So in the preview section, you can see everything seems to be looking good on desktop. Uh, animated graphics work in Canva in the website builder as well, which is great. The video is running and everything looks pretty clear and well aligned. And there is that quote section we added, which is simple, but just breaks up the white of the panels. Let's have a look in the mobile view and we'll scroll to the top and have a look how everything is. Everything seems to be neat and tidy and nothing is overlapping. It's all clear, easy to see the calls to action. The video doesn't play automatically because on mobile they don't. Um, but with a click, you'll see that the elements still also stay in front of the video. Next is the intro section, the social proof, which looks great. The investment options, FAQs, a quote, and the final statement. So that all looks pretty good. Now, the last thing that we need to just pay attention to is if we go into the grid view, you will see that these are the panels or pages that make up that long single scrolling web page. Now, you'll notice some of them have numbers, whereas some have a title as well. Now, the reason for that is because Canva has an automatic navigation system that you can activate. And basically, what that means is that if you put a title on slides as opposed to just the numbers, any slide that is titled will appear in a simple navigation bar at the top of your website or in the kind of hamburger bar on mobile, which we're all used to. Now, if you don't want any links whatsoever, you can choose to not have the navigation present but otherwise you can decide which of these panels you want to have on the navigation and people can navigate up and down your page that way. So here you'll see a few of them I have added titles to so that I can show you the navigation. And if I preview this again, you'll see that in mobile, we've got a little hamburger menu, which if I click brings up just those panels. And if I go back to desktop, there's a very simple navigation bar at the top. Now, unfortunately in Canva, you don't have any control over design or look of the navigation bar, but it is very clever at just doing a very simple navigation bar at the top of the page, which makes it easy for you creating it. As I said, you can have the option to just disable navigation completely, and then it just becomes a single scrolling website, which people can experience from top to bottom as they scroll down. So that's it for the design part of this sales page. We've customized it, we've made sure that fonts are consistent and colors are all consistent, and we've added imagery that ties it all together and reflects the brand. Obviously the copywriting we haven't done today, but each of those sections has copy prompts in for you so that you can go in and type your own copy easily. The next thing for us to do is to get the page published and out into the world. So I'm gonna go back to our edit screen and on the top right, I'm just gonna hit the publish website button. Now, the first thing it does is ask you whether you wanted to have navigation or not, and then which of these options you want to publish to, either a free Canva domain, purchase a new domain through Canva, or you can use an existing domain. Now, to use an existing domain, you have to have a Canva Pro account and you have to pay for a new domain if you purchase one through Canva. So we're just gonna use the free Canva domain. And all that means is that the actual domain of your website will end in .my.canva.site and you can change the prefix to that. So I'm gonna hit continue and you'll see it tells me what my URL is here, which is createdbyme.my.canva.site. So I can edit that if I just click on the little pencil and change it to whatever I would prefer. Further down, there is a browser tab preview and that just means this is what it will look like in a website browser. So not only can you change the title, which it pulls from the title of the document that you were working in, but you can also click on the little pencil, change the title or upload your own favicon. So if I click on that little button, it gives me the option to add one. And if I then click and drag an image in, it allows me to click on the image and select that as the favicon. If I click done, you'll see that that's how it appears and that's how it will appear in your browser. Then you have 160 characters to customize the description, which will appear in search results, etc. 
and underneath you have the option to hide the site from search results or search engines, and you do also have the option to add a password. So that can come in really handy if you're only sending this to a few key people and want to keep it exclusive, or if you're using Canva websites for an intranet or client onboarding or something similar. Once you've checked those options, if you just hit publish, it says preparing your design and within minutes, your design is published. So your website is now live. You have the option to copy the URL or to visit the website directly. And this is what your final sales page looks like. And that's it. Within minutes, you can have a fully functional sales page sending people to a checkout up on Canva for free. And if you use the sales page template that I've made available for you to download, you can just move sections around, edit or add sections and customize it for your brand or product. If you have any questions about the template, please feel free to email me at hello at creativebywayne.com. And if there are any other resources or templates that you think would be particularly useful for you or your business, please leave a comment below the video or drop me an email and we'll make sure we add those to the list of resources that we're already creating for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I know this was a very brief whirlwind tour of creating a sales page, but I hope it was helpful and I hope the template proves to be really valuable to you. Thanks again and have a fabulous day.